for uh, students of general semantics. Here is a moment, a vignette, from uh, the course I offered at the University of Toronto on Radical General Semantics, which is available at radicalgeneralsemantics.net. My student brought in uh, this structural differential, which he constructed. So here's the event level. There's the strings coming down from the event level to the object level. As you can see, some strings don't get to the object level and some do. And here, here are the label levels. Here are some strings coming from the object to the label. Again, not all of them get to the label. And then we have the successive label levels, which rejoin the event level at the top. So this would be the highest label level, which rejoins the event level at the top of the structural differential. Now, I had been emphasizing to the students that although these levels are separate in space, in the structural differential as it is commonly represented, and this is a sort of common representation of it. In fact, the levels are not separate. Also, the levels are hierarchically structured. The event level contains the object level, even though the object is abstracted from the event, the event contains the object level, and Although the label levels are abstracted from the object level, the object level contains the label levels. So the, this student, whose name was Scott Bezot, many years ago, he constructed a structural differential in which the togetherness of the levels could be seen and felt. Korzybski wanted us to see and feel the levels of the structural differential. He wanted us to be able to say, this is not this, this is not this, right? But Scott created a version of the structural differential in which the object and label levels could be put back, as it were, returned to the source in the event level. So there they are contained within the event level. I thought that was really interesting. And so we can then take them out. You can take them out and put them in this version of the structural differential. <laughs> now, <coughs> um, we can also see here what Korzybski thought was very important, and, uh, and that is that uh, uh, that is that the uh, highest label level that we, we read as he, I'm, I'm almost quoting, I think, we read our latest higher abstractions into what is going on. Oh, I can show that. We read our higher abstractions, we read our abstractions back into what is going on, and it is only in this way that we can have any knowledge of what is going on. Knowledge of what is going on depends on reading our abstractions from what is going on into what is going on. So we can also demonstrate that with the structural differential. And I could also mention at this, at this point that language inheres in the body. And the body inheres in what is going on. Language inheres in the body. And the body inheres in what is going on. So when we do this, we're also demonstrating that that language inheres in the body, which inheres what is going on. Now I'd like to suggest that if some such representation of the structural differential had been more widely known, the errors of Hayakawa's popularization, his replacement of the structural differential with the so-called ladder of abstraction, which Bruce Kodish has cogently criticized in his work, would have been less likely to take off. End.